and we'll see that it feels like space and time get held a little bit. Uh, 
Drumming can be used to bridge gaps with communication between people. I know, I know many drummers, I've met some drummers from Ghana over the years, uh, I've met drummers from all over the world who can't even speak uh, English, but we sit down and we play together, and because we start to speak the language of the drum, we can communicate and have a conversation. Uh, rhythm is kind of universal in that respect. Um, so when we, move, when we move forward from even the tempo and the duple, triple, and asymmetrical feel, we can start to impart different things, which the first groove in my solo used polymetrics, but it was from the Ghanaian African music called Akaja. triple feel and a duple feel simultaneously. Uh, but then what comes out is a third entity or this music that is created from the layering of those feel, those grooves or those feels that everybody can understand and relate to and can hear. And it has perhaps, um, I mean, every, every type of rhythm has perhaps connotations um, and everybody has their own different views on what these rhythms might mean. Feel that that's a you know you can hear that as a club or a dance rhythm. So learning to speak through drum, learning to speak through rhythm, learning to communicate uh, has been uh, a career for me. Uh, I played for many years with a band that required me to play many many different styles, and learning duple, triple, and asymmetrical feels led me to further investigate communicating through the drum. Um, and when a drummer plays a solo, it, it, I had a student say to me today, um, and she's a very good drum student, she said to me today, boy, I don't like to listen to you know, drum solos because they just go crazy all the time. And, they, and so that is very true. Many drummers do that. That does not communicate. So a, a good drum solo has to be predicated on trying to formulate, just like any good paper, formulate a thesis, come up with a form and a structure, come up with a beginning, an arrival point, and an ending that makes sense. Just like anything else, we learn to communicate using rhythms uh, and not necessarily words. So I'm going to end, end this piece with one more performance. Um, I, I hope you've enjoyed my portion of the program, and I hope it gives you a better insight into communicating using rhythm. Uh, I'm going to play one more brief solo, and I will turn it over to the next presenter.